Daniel and this is Yo guys, this is Maria Nora and welcome to my channel. So, for my first ever video, we will be discussing the 3D bacteria cell. So, if you want to see the process on making the 3D bacteria cell model, please do keep watching and without further ado, let's get started. and their functions but before that let me give you a brief introduction about the bacteria cell so bacteria cell is unicellular and prokaryotic cell since it locks nucleus or any structure that has a membrane so now let's start with the capsule so this one this orange layer here is the capsule so capsule, it is responsible, responsible for the um, protection of the cell from the dryness and from the chemicals. It also work, works as food reserve and it is composed of a poly, big polysaccharide and a kind of slime layer that used to cover the outside of the cell wall. So cell wall, this blue one, cell wall provides the strength and the rigidity of the cell. So next part of the bacteria, the cytoplasm, which is the yellow part here, this one, yes. So cytoplasm is called as the storehouse for all the types of chemicals and components that are used in sustaining the life of the bacterium. And so, it also helps in the production of in the cellular growth, metabolism, and the replication of the cell. So that's it. 
So next one is the plasma membrane. This green layer here, this green color, symbolizes or represents the plasma membrane. And plasma membrane is the one that is that is a gateway, which means it controls the movement of any substances in and out of the cell. That is why it is called as the most important organelle in the bacteria. So let's move forward with the next part of the bacteria, which is the cytoplasm region or the nucleoid region, which is an area of the cytoplasm that contains the single loop DNA. So next one is the ribosome. This that that layer yes so ribosome are the smallest part of the cell organelle and plays a vital role in the protein synthesis as they contain as they consist i mean of protein and the rna they are usually um, attached to the ers the rough endoplasmic reticulum is the plasmid. You see this blue one here? Yes, this one. So these are the plasmid. And plasmid is a small circle of DNA and necessary in the exchanging of DNA between the bacteria cells. So that's it. So next one is the period. This one. You see this? Yes. So period or pyrene are the short protein appendages which fixes bacteria to surfaces and so these are smaller than the flagellum cellular and flagella in plural and is used in conjugation to exchange genetic information so the last the last part of the bacteria cell is this flagellum as i said a while ago Flagellum in singular and flagella in plural. So flagellum or flagella, they are the rigid rotating tail. You see this one? Yes. So the clockwise rotation move the cell forward and the anti-clockwise rotation help the cell to spin. And so this rotation is powered by each plus rated across the cell membrane. So those are the parts of the bacteria cell. So thank you! So that's all guys, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something and if you do, leave a like, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Bye! Bye. Bye.